What's up, you guys? And welcome to episode 53 of Tea Time with Tuff, a reaction series where I, Michaela Jill Murphy, the voice of Tuff Beifong, go through the original animated series Avatar The Last Airbender, leading up to the live action premiere on Netflix at the end of February. As some of you may know and be familiar with, today we have a very exciting guest, Prince of the Fire Nation, soon to be... Fire Lord. Soon uh, to be, soon to be. Soon to be, soon to be. Uh, Don Tabasco, please. What's up? Say hey. What's up? How you doing, Michaela? I'm good. I'm good. Looking very exciting. Fire Nation today. I mean, you got the jersey I on. Too. Yeah. Fire Nation representation Saved out it there. for today. Good folks out there in the Fire Nation. Hair, looking very Fire Nation yep. recently. <laughs> yeah. Seeing you around the country and uh, it's Fire Nation talk, walking mm, around the yeah. planet, y'all. I very much resonate with like a lot of the earth, but I, I also earth lately too. am, am very fire. fired. There's a, lot a little fiery, <laughs> There's a a little lot fiery. Fire uh, the thing I find funny about these, so this is this is the fire version of that box lunch. Yeah, box I have, lunch, I have, the have one it. that I have. Yeah, and so earth, you know, my number is zero, and your number is one. So technically, I'm before you. Does that mean I'm goalie? What does that uh, mean? I don't know how that football numbers, football yeah, works. thing works. What, what are the other know. numbers? What is? I think it's just two, three. I think Katara's... No, she's not because it's Sokka. It's only Sokka and Aang. Is Aang three and Sokka... I don't remember. Sokka Who's has water? a jersey. Is it Katara? No, there's a water truck. I think it's... Is it Katara? Uh, Aang has one for sure. Yeah, no, definitely. It's 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 Twinkle Toes on, on the Air Nomad one, but I I don't know what the water I one is. I haven't... I've seen the water trap one. I want to say it was Sokka. Drop it below, guys. You know. You know better than we I do. I want to say it was Sokka. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> better than we do. Okay, well, today's episode is book three, episode 13, Firebending Masters. Beautiful, beautiful episode. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. So let's dive into the episode. Go ahead and grab your own cup of tea, water, coffee, whatever you'd like, and then we will dive into today's what tea do we got going over on? here. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. I know you're nervous, but remember, firebending in and of itself is not something to fear. See, I feel like you're lucky because you still sound like this. <laughs> uh, if you think or do you not think you sound like this? Of course, I was an adult when I did this. But, yeah. <laughs> but some people say I still sound the same as I did when I did Hook, so I don't know what is what made my voice change early and I just stopped. Yeah. Okay, so you asked about today's tea flavor. It is a sacred fire. Well, that's the that's the title. Oh no! Cinnamon floral herbal blend with What's hibiscus, that? cardamom, no, cinnamon, safflower, and cornflowers. Well, I didn't hear. I was I was seeing him say, "What is that?" <laughs> oh no, Zuko! Where is your anger gone? <laughs> Maybe it's the altitude. Not yeah. a bad guess, honestly. Okay. The altitude could have been fire bending, right? Yeah, <laughs> higher altitude. I don't, you yeah, know, valid. try to do a flamethrower on the side of a plane. I mean, it might not work well. Probably not. Probably not. You know what's crazy is because we've all been hanging out so much to the OG gang mm -hmm. around the country and world, whatever. When I watch the show now, I could see Zach. Yeah. And you. I like see his face pop up. I mean, up. I could not see, but I could no, hear yeah. him, sense him. The tie between animation and real life is getting is getting closer. <laughs> yes. As you hang out with everybody more. Okay, so we're supposed to prepare this at 212 degrees for seven minutes. I've lost my stuff. Oh boy. Don't I've lost my stuff. Touch your stuff. I didn't You're touch your You're pretty high pitched there for sure. A little different than my day to day now. Ooh, that smells good. Are you a big tea person? Yeah, I love tea. Okay, give it a, give it a sniff. Oh, delicious. This blend is also like very colorful. I don't know if you can see it, but there's lots of like purple and red in here. Oh my God, look at annoying. I feel like you had to be so angry for most of this show. Did that like affect your mood while you were recording this? Nah, I don't remember. <laughs> I love how the whole idea of just even the concept of changing your your source of from anger to you know. For earthbending, the original benders were badgermals. Badgermals Badger backstory. Little little top bay fung. That's me. In her little dress. That's where I'm and I'm always surprised how big these dang badgermals are. So large. Because neither badgers nor moles are that big. The original firebenders were the dragons. We're the dragons, my friends. Year of the dragon! The dragons are gone. <laughs> the year of the dragon is upon us. It is. You're a dragon, aren't you? No, I'm a rabbit. Oh no, you're a rabbit. And it was this just last happened. my year just happened. Okay, okay. The luckiest sign. I'm a dog. Okay, you're good a rabbit, year, I'm a good dog. Year, good what year. are what are you guys? Feel free to, to sound off. I don't really know hundred percent what it means. We had some interesting, you know, animal reads uh at Sketchfest last week where we dug into our <laughs> My wife is a dragon Supposed though. That checks out. That, that checks sense. out for sure. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. 
<laughs> Alice is a dragon. Maybe start out our missions with a more upbeat attitude. Eddie's like, I can't believe this. I love that it's just like real. It's real. This is taking too long. <laughs> but they're going to this, the, this whole boy. I get my, my, my fire bending back. Yeah, it's kind of important. Okay, wait. Right, right. It's just them too. It's just them too. It's like kind of like a it's your adventure. chill trip together, right? Yeah. Okay. Before preparing your tea, take a moment to examine the colors and beauty of this blend, which we did. The Tazan produces a warm hug of understanding as you sip throughout the episode. Zuko and Aang. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fish. Good. Hopefully, as they stay alive. <laughs> Good. Got some Indiana Jones action going very, on. Very. This is a very Indiana Jones situation. <laughs> very much so. It keeps going, Indiana Jones. <laughs> Zuko and Aang delve deep into Fire Nation history in an attempt to study the origins of firebending. They visit an ancient city, Tada, thought to be abandoned, but to discover that there was much more that they could have experienced. Parkour, parkour, Zuko, parkour, Zuko. You guys, Mayan uh, pyramids yep. uh, vibes. As Aztec. What's between like Aztec, Mayan? Aztec. And I don't know. Peruvian. Maybe the, there's a lot of South South America. Yes. Or so, you know. Yes. Then at the end, let's see, just like this tea in a burst of color and wonder, Aang and Zuko finally understand the force behind the beauty of fire. Ooh, it's very dramatic. My great grandfather sows and happened. Oh yeah. Wah, 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 huh? <sighs> I mean, there are good people in the Fire Nation. Those other guys are family mm. members that you know. Maybe not. So poachers. Crazy. I don't know. Were they poachers out there making animals extinct in the world for glory? By my uncle. Uncle Iroh got the last dragon. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of bad uncles, but you have a good one. You got a good one. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Man, they could use some metal bending right now. Yes. <laughs> I never understood why so many times they go on, like, solo missions. Like, why not bring a couple other people as backup? Like, why? Just like the you know. <laughs> I don't know. It, okay, look. Look how smart Zuko is right here. We don't need no Sokka. You know, Sokka is usually one figuring out these things for the gang. But uh, Zuko, no, we can't. He's got some ingenuity. Let's go. A little, a little reflection from the ruby, walking around. Voila! Don't worry about it. Come on. Let it sit for a second. Let it marinate, bam. Let's go. I don't care what everyone else says about you. You're pretty smart. What? What though? What the? <laughs> what does everyone say about me? Awesome. Yeah, you're like, cool. No, this is so cool. When I was watching this last time, I realized that me and Zach really need to learn this dance. Yeah. It looks like it's 12 moves. I mean, I got 12 moves. Yeah, you got more than 12 moves. Here we go. Boom. One. Look at that. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of nice that you have a template. <laughs> it's a template just it. right there. High, low. Mm -hmm. Hi, one leg low. I think this is some kind of sun it's sun warrior party. poses. That's the warrior pose. Really no, let me see. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yes. Boom. Okay, now if you watch Indiana Jones, <laughs> this is the moment. Raiders of the Lost Ark. You're not supposed I mean, if you do get like a bag of sand, a kind of kind of counterweight to switch it out. I'm just very suspicious of giant glowing gems sitting on pedestals. <laughs> oh, come on. Come uh, on, Zuko. Come on, Zuko, dude. What yeah, did you do that yeah, for? That was silly. And what is this double dare slot? This is I, Nickelodeon. <laughs> and so the double dare slot gets some. But it's very adhesive. Yeah, this is a dark like green. This is, this is stickier and murkier. Yeah, than it's like a. <laughs> yes, but it's. <laughs> Got the vibe. I wonder if Mike and Brian like purposefully made this Indiana Jones esque. I'm, or... I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure they are fans. Did you see the latest one, the Dial of Destiny? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm a sucker for those. I love them. We can figure a way out of this. <laughs> no. <laughs> you guys look silly. <laughs> and they can't burn through the. Yeah. Wait. Why can't he like fire bend it away? I don't know. Why can't he air? Well, bend we it don't out? have. No, we don't have. I don't have any fire bending right now. Oh, right, because you can't. I have no fire But bending. he has air bending. Why can't he, like, just do, like... A tar is too strong. I guess so. It's a beautiful place to be stuck. I mean, of the places... Oh! <laughs> Who's down there? Of the places to be stuck. What's it, it was very peaceful. Ancient folks coming to visit us. Could you imagine going to, like, Mexico or somewhere that the ancient people... Where are those things? I was just what are those say, things? What are those? Aardvark dogs? Are they just aardvark dogs? Wolf? 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 
this is this is the time when you gotta pull out yeah, right. yeah, who you are. Yeah, I'm the avatar. Leave me yeah. alone. <laughs> Please, I don't normally play this card, but I'm the avatar. Yeah. Yes, 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 he is. This is the time. I'm the Fire Lord Prince of it right now. What's yeah. up? My name is Zuko, Crown Prince of the Fire. Exactly. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> or at least I used. Well, to. don't 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 leave do that. that part out. They will examine you. They'll read your hearts, your souls. And your ancestry. If they yeah. deem you worthy, they'll teach you. If they don't, you'll be dead. Well, I'm banished, but. Yeah, your ancestry is not great, but your heart He's is. He's like, dead. my ancestry is not cool. <laughs> It was like when you got the whole big gang out there or trying to get in a club and it looks ominous, you're like, this is the deal. Yeah. <laughs> He's the avatar, and uh, do you know who I am? I'm Prince of the Fire. I'm Prince. I mean, I mean, uh, might, I mean Let me in. it's been up and down, but I'm still the prince. Can I get in the club or no? <laughs> oh, I love how they have the original fire yeah. of all time. Just there. In the OG flame. Infinity. There's a the thing though, cause I grew up Catholic and I was a, you know, and I was like ultra boy and stuff. And yeah. there's in the church, there always was a fire going at all, all time. time. I don't know if it's true or not. It reminded me of this flyer. I was like, there's a fire that gets lit in that church and it's and it's there forever. I didn't know that. Who knew Catholics were firebenders? We didn't, I... know. we didn't know that. Grab the fire and stop fooling around. It's like a little heartbeat. Fire. Life. This is the first this episode is where we see the fire is life narrative. Up until this point, it's been solely destructive. No, no, it's life. Yeah. No, it's life. It can be destructive, but it's life. Mostly destructive. Your flame's gonna mm. go out because it's too small. You're too timid. Damn, don't talk about another man's flame, Zuko. <laughs> can't control it. He's not wrong, though. I mean, maybe maybe his words... He said, you're good, you're okay, kid. You're good, okay, kid. Don't be going out there, y'all. Just go talk about Bill's flames. That's not, that's not really. How did my guys get there so quick? My dudes said go there with the fire. And then the whole crew's up here? <laughs> Maybe they took the dragons up. These dudes, Maybe nah, they like. They're, they know that they have a back door. There's a back entrance. And this dude's a punk. I know. Yeah. I don't need your lip, this dude. Is, this is, this is I'm other here to talk to the chief. His ponytail's looking a little longer and better than yours, uh, you know, at the beginning. Oh, took our fire. Yup. But, but, it's life. See, when you take fire from other fire, it doesn't diminish no. the other fire. That applies to other situations in life as well. <laughs> what if they judge us and attack mm -hmm. us? Well, we're the fire prince and the avatar. You guys I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, yo. I mean, you know, like, we're good. Oh my gosh. Bring him, Bring him out. out. Bring him out, bring him out. That's what I'm telling you. Zuko's ready, but you've already fire, you've been firebending your whole life. So you already I know, know but my firebending is like. not, my prowess at the moment isn't. I know, but you're able to like be confident. Aang has never done this before. This poor kid's like. His flame's small. out. Those are some pretty intense stairs. Legs are definitely sore for the next week. Let's go. My guys are on the drums. We're hyped. Worst comes to worst, we could take him out. My firebending's not 100, but I have a sword. Jeez. Hold on to it, dude. Oh. What did you do? Zuko, my fire went out. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do, man? Just make your own. I can't. Oh my gosh. There's some brother stuff. My little brother's yeah. been fire going all the time. I, uh, <laughs> you can't have my fire. Get out of here. Give me some. Dude, what are you doing? Ah! Oh. Oh. Now we're both gonna die? Are you kidding me? Oh, dragon! Red dragon, red dragon, red dragon. Red well, alert, red alert. dope though, but kind of, and blue dragon! I love the blue dragon. What's up with blue dragon? I don't know, I'm, I'm a big fan These of blue. These are the masters. Mm -hmm. They are the masters. Do you think we can take them? Do you think we can take them? <laughs> no! Uh, they're the dragons. The answer is no. This dude, I'm not with you, guy. You're not on our side. Shut up. Quiet, Quiet, my guy. You guys Death let upon your me. flames go out, though. I, think we're supposed I had my flame going, but Aang was messing around. Yeah. But this is good, though. This is this is good that they practiced, you know. He's like, can we dance? Fire also, you know, I was a break dance before. When in doubt, break dance. Then they'll let you into the club. When, <laughs> you know, in case of emergency, 
break dance. Okay, that's Dante's advice, everyone. Make it a bumper sticker. Let's go. This is really pretty. Beautiful, I love this. See, you don't get to see this when you record it with your voice, mm -hmm. and then when you get to see it, right here, this right here. Yeah, you don't get to see this. This is... <laughs> Till later. No, this is phenomenal. This, mm -hmm. right here, that. It's, they're downloading it onto our mind. I understand. I understand. So That's, up. I understand. It's being understand. downloaded into our minds. Bam. That's like, I mean, Boom. I don't know. And then they're gone as fast as No, but can. Zuko got hit with the, I don't know if it was ayahuasca. I don't know what happened, but it all made sense. The Matrix that unlocked. one moment. Iro was the last outsider to face the masters. Hmm. They deemed him worthy. And pass the secret on to him as well. Uh huh. To protect them, so no one else could hunt them. All this time, I thought firebending was destruction. But. But now I know what it really is. What is it, name? It's energy. It's energy. And life. And life. Energy and life. It's a little hot still. Cinnamon, though. That cinnamon's coming cinnamon. through. I have a new drive. I have to help you defeat my father and restore balance to the world. Boom. Pop! Let's go! Positive reinforcement. Sunshine. You too? You got that fire too now, and you got it now also? Bro time. See, everyone else did get a really incredible, like, life-changing field trip with Zuko. Come on! It's fair that I wanted my own. Look at how cool you guys became after this. Just kidding. <laughs> But seriously, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I ain't telling nobody, but I really want to know. I want to ask my guys, like, what about Azula? My sister, where, where's that? Where's that fire flame coming yeah. from? Where's that blue lightning coming from? What did she know? So, what? Did, who does she talk to? Feminine rage. <laughs> Great dance you two learned. Now. Sokka. It's not a dance. Sokka. It's a fire bending form. That's break dance with Sokka. <laughs> mm. The cinnamon comes to the most for me. Dancing the dancing dragons. Am I part of the gang now, though? Am I okay. good now? Oh, now, yeah. Are we good now? Now you've been officially inducted because we, we good? all made fun of you. Definitely one of my favorite episodes. Um, Absolutely. Aside from that one, what are what are other faves? I mean, Off the top of the beach, head. of course. The beach is phenomenal. We just had Miss Gray on for the beach. Really? Yes. Tales yes. of Bossing Say, for sure. I mean, classic. Uh, I mean, come on. Blind Bandit. Meeting Toph for the first time is pretty intense. I told him to say that. Pretty cool. <laughs> um, plus, I was a fan of, like, you know, WWF, which is the WWE now, but back in my day it was a WWF, so it was kind of cool to see all that. The Blue Spirit, I mean, I like a lot of the episodes that really I tell the, the story Spirit. of like Aang and Zuko together. The Storm, like they always, they do these episodes where like, they'll like basically bounce back and forth between yeah. Zuko and, and Aang and you get to see, you know, the, like the protagonist, antagonist, or however you want to think, like the good and the bad people in your life, like may not be as good and bad as you actually we yeah. like to put him out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like, yep. in life, we think, oh, there's a bad guy. Uh, maybe he is. Maybe maybe, maybe she is. Maybe she's not. Maybe, you know, maybe, who what knows? Is, what is good and bad? What is good? It's, it's the process of what process. it is, and everyone's on yeah. their process, and it's really good to see the the duality of these two characters that you think start out so different, and you're like, wow, there's actually... I love those. So whenever mm -hmm. they keep on revisiting that theme, I really love that. Now it's, they're together. It's tricky, because it's not something that can be resolved in one episode, and I feel like that's why... This show is so rewatchable because it's kind of a very long, drawn out process of self discovery, morality. Right. You know, it's it takes time. You I need mean, multiple episodes. You can't just get it all it's done. It's great. In it's great to go back. Uh, obviously, you're doing this as a phenomenal. You know, we're doing Brave the Elements, yeah. me and me and Janet, and uh, I've never. I mean, you, we've been, we're kid actors growing up, you know. Yeah. And <laughs> I, it's not like I ever go back and watch anything, including this. Like I barely watched any of this as we were doing it. I didn't have cable, so and, I did not uh, see this until... It was cool when we were doing yeah. it. I thought it was very cool. I didn't know how cool it actually was. Uh, so it's a very unique experience to go out and go back and relive some of these things and, and see it with fresh eyes and uh, and then see yourself and friends in it, which is cool. Uh, but it's a very unique experience. I, I mean, when all those years ago, I mean, you were kind of... Did you know about the show when you got, came on or nothing? No, not really. I had just local cable like PBS on my TV and then uh, you know sometimes I would catch an episode at a friend's house uh, when they had like Disney and Nick but um, 
yeah, I didn't really know much aside from the script. Obviously, I right. read I read a decent amount of the scripts. I didn't only read my lines. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. But not for every script. But I tried to just get a semblance of like what was going on. But the visuals just make it so much better. So then right. when I finally saw it, I was like, oh. That's how all of that looks. <laughs> I finally just bought the DVD set in college and watched oh, cool. it because I just hadn't seen it. And I was like, I need to just see this show. Did so people it was like know my... you were tough when you went to college? Um, yes and no. I mean, I wasn't very vocal about it. I mean, people just didn't care as much as they do right now. <laughs> they cared if they really watched it when they were a kid. And they were like, whoa, that's cool. But yeah, I feel like now is like a whole different, a whole different ball game. So a couple of people knew, but I really didn't talk about it that much. So right. Right, right, yeah, right. I don't know. I don't know. There's one kid, though, in middle school, in eighth grade, who who was a huge fan of the show. And once he found out, uh, as soon as I started going to school there, he was like, I don't, is there like a, can I? And I was like, do you want me to like sign a picture or something? And he was like, would you? And he got like, and then he kept it in his locker all year. It was very sweet. That's cool. <laughs> it was really sweet. So that was my first like memory of somebody being so into the show that they wanted like a memento. High school, because in high school the show must have been. It was yeah, it was popular. like happening. It was like yeah. still happening because he was in eighth grade and I was in seventh grade, so I was finishing up season three. So it was like mm. mid show. Mm. Yeah, it's crazy. That's fascinating. I know, crazy times. I feel like I've learned a lot now rewatching just in the last couple 100%. years as an adult uh, compared to when I was a kid, and I was like, ooh, I can take a lot of these lessons and. It's yep. so the the show yep. is so cool and it's so cool to be a part of it and so cool to look back at it now and see how cool it is. is. Yeah. And I don't think we I mean who knows? I mean I, I thought it was cool when we did it but I didn't know. You know I didn't I wasn't like overly thinking no. it was cool. No. I always, I I, I kind of like think of it like being like a teenager like you're not really supposed to know you know, you look now back and you're like, oh my god, my teenage years were like, yeah, it's cool, you know? You're okay, probably not supposed maybe, to, maybe you. Probably not, you're not supposed to really know that when you're a teenager or how cool was you cool. Cool was, because then you might just be a jerk, you know? I think Dante uh, has enough cool for all of us. No. I was not cool as a teenager. I don't know about anyone else, so. I didn't see you much as a teenager. Like, I think when I ended up, like, last scene, you were, like, you were like, how? I came in to do a voice record, but I don't think you were there doing anything that day. And I don't know when the last time, I don't, because were you at, were you at San Diego Comic-Con in 2014? I don't I think you know. were. I don't think so. I think so. the last time I technically saw you before all this Netflix, you know, they put it on Netflix in 2020 and then people started rewatching it, might have been when I was a, oh, when we met in New York. But New before York. that, before you released your book, which is great, by the way, if you guys haven't read it. It's from Rufio yeah, to Zuko. From Rufio to Zuko. Good book. Uh, yeah, I think. For, I think it, before that, you was like, yeah, I was you're just, a kid. You're it was, like, I was thirteen. Yeah, 14. thirteen. Yeah, and then and then we come back ten years later, and I was like 24, 25, and that's when I met you in New York. Wow, it's crazy. He was doing a book tour, and Time then flies. and then we crossed paths, and I was like, oh hey, and then and then they put it on, they put Avatar on Netflix, and then you all started rewatching it, and then other and people watched are. it for the first time. Crazy. And then somebody made a tea set with sixty-one different flavors of tea, and now we're rewatching it. And this is so good. This it's was what, this is number what? <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Of book three. So, so yeah, yeah, technically that's T number 53 that we've had on this series. Tense. It's, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> the, the, the bags sometimes are, are a little more strong. Today's was a little smaller, so we're definitely lighter right. in flavor today. Uh, but the, the cinnamon for me came through very forward. So good. That was the first one. A little bit of the hibiscus. Yeah, I would say those were those were the strongest two for me, but I'm a big tea fan. Aside from what's your what's your favorite tea? You have your matcha. Matcha. Rufia matcha. That's yeah. my favorite tea. Rufia matcha. <laughs> plug, plug. Yeah, Yay. No. I do have a tea. <laughs> me and my wife have a have a, a matcha tea company we just released. Uh we just opened the business right before the holidays last year. And it's called Rufia Matcha. Ceremon ceremonial grade matcha coming from Japan. Really good stuff. So matcha's your favorite. That's your I mean it's, I, I love that. Of... I do love matcha, but yeah. I mean I have, you know. I can go between like some stuff, you know. I like mint tea. I like I like I mean I like the classics, the English breakfast, Earl yeah. Grey. I like yeah. all that stuff. You can't go wrong. I I drink a lot of tea. I like all that. I like what else? I like like pea. Like I got like the white teas. Yeah, the, the I like white. The peach I love, teas. I love the fruity ones. The fruity, the fruity ones. ones. Um, and then I I do like some of the you know I've been to China and there's like all these oolongs that are just yeah. intense and cool mm -hmm. and they're drinking tea in a certain way where you're like. Yeah. We've been drinking tea wrong a yeah. long time. What's that's, crazy that's I found out, I was like, um, you know that saying, like, what does that have to do with the price of tea in China? Yeah, yes. Okay, what? So, Tell me. <laughs> there was a time in the world where the price of tea in China was 
the standard of of all money. It's like the of price, all money? All money. Like the whole world? Yeah. Because that's why, that, that's what I'm saying, what's that to do with the price of tea in China? Like, what does that have to do with the gold standard? Like, whatever, you know, so basically tea what was- What year? Do you remember? Uh, like, what era like, in history is probably that? Probably the 1500s, 1600s. So tea was like, or maybe I'm wrong, don't, don't, don't do that. I don't know. <laughs> the internet will connect. So what, tea- What era? You guys don't- <laughs> Tea was the biggest, it's weird now, because tea's like, yeah, I mean, tea's cool. It is. Like, we all like tea, right? It's definitely not enough. But it's not like, even person. like Starbucks. Like, Starbucks and coffee is like, is like, yeah, big thing. But tea was so big, it was the biggest import export in the world. Yeah. And, and China owned all the tea. So much so, if you think about it, it connects. You guys heard about the Boston Tea Party? Yeah. The whole just about thing say. about America and about the revolution in America was around tea. So it's probably around that era. Yeah. Whatever okay. that was, 17, 1800s. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the whole thing about what they were doing, our forefathers, we get taught this whole wholesome history of like us as Americans. Like, no, these dudes were selling black market tea, which was the number one thing in the world. You could think of it as marijuana. You could sure. think of it as whatever. Sure. Or bootlegging. But, you know. But yeah. so, so England was like, they're selling so much of the tea. They're, and they're and they're running us. Yeah. They're like, yeah. how do we compete with the black market? And they're like, well, we can either just kind of like arrest them or do something, or we can try to bring our tea down to their prices, which they did. And when then that happened, that's when our patriot friends selling illegal yeah. stuff was like, oh, we're going to go and throw all their tea off the ship. And we're going to start the whole revolution oh, over gosh. what? Tea. tea. What a beautiful way but to end this episode. <laughs> Okay, some history, some, some tea history. time, some Avatar, some Dante. Um, there you go, guys. We're Fire near the end. Masters. We're near the end. We're near the yeah. end of book three. My favorite book, Book of Fire. Good hanging out, having tea with talk. Cheers, by the way. Yeah, we didn't cheers. Do cheers. Cheers. Cheers to the Fire Nation. Joke. We didn't, mm, cheers to the Fire Nation. Mixed, mixed feelings on that one. That's okay. You burned my feet. I mean. <laughs> Do you apologize? It's I'm okay. sorry. That's okay. You apologize. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for joining. Hopefully you've enjoyed this reaction series. It's been so fun having on guests. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Thank you for joining. And I'll see you guys next time. Flamio. Flamio hot man. Flamio hot man. Flamio. Bye, guys.